Okay, so I'm assuming most of you drive or have a vehicle, but do you know how to change your tire on your vehicle? Um, a lot of people don't, but to me personally, it's pretty important that you know how to do that because accidents happen all the time, like flat tires or blowouts or anything like that. Just for instance, this morning I woke up and had a flat tire on my car, so I didn't have to change my tire, luckily, but I did have to go to the gas station and air it up before I came to class. So, that's just my personal opinion that you should know how to do it. Um, there's some must-have things you're going to need, though, to change your tire. You're going to need a spare tire, a jack, and a lug wrench, and some vehicles may require an adapter, which is kind of like a special key that... Um, it locks one of the lug nuts on so that people can't steal your tires. Some extra things you might want would be gloves, hand cleaners, a mat to sit on, a flashlight, such, such things like that. Um, before you change the tire, you want to find a safe spot. So it's recommended that you find a spot that is uh, far enough to the side of the road where you're not in the middle of traffic. And you want to look for like a straight road just in case there's somebody going around a curve. They could not see you. Or something like that and look for something that's level because you don't want to change your tire on an incline it could lead to your car falling off the jack um, you want to start by gathering all the supplies that are needed there you could usually just store them all in your trunk it also said on one of the websites that I looked at that you could should keep like a little tote full of stuff like that but that's kind of unnecessary to me if you only need th uh, three to four main supplies and you want to start by just slightly loosening your lug nuts. Uh, you don't want to loosen them all the way, but you just want to loosen them enough so that when you, you jack your car up, it's not as like tough and you don't like pull your car off the jack. Um, so then you want to jack your car up. You want it about six inches off of the ground. That way that whenever you put the new tire on, it goes on right and it's not like too low to the ground where you can't get your tire on. And if you um, have your owner's manual in your car, it might help you to get out because it could tell you exactly where to place your jack. I didn't go into too much detail about that. Uh, uh, once the vehicle is jacked all the way up completely, you want to loosen the lug nuts and remove the tire. And don't lose the lug nuts because then you're not going to be able to get the spare tire back on. And to put the spare tire back on, you want to align the holes on the wheel with the bolts on the vehicle. And you want to put the lug nuts back on and just finger tighten them to start with. And then you want to lower the jack and take the lug wrench and tighten them the rest of the way. And when you tighten them, you want to tighten them in like a crisscross pattern. And that's usually in your own manual. This keeps them from like flexing and loosening as you're putting them on and getting air to where they won't completely tighten. And then you can just put your materials away and you're good to go. Any questions? Yeah. What happens when the tire is stuck on the brake? Then you need to get a tow truck, my friend. <laughs> 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 no, I actually, on my way back from class last week, my tire blew out. So, oh. uh, the brass hammer. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, like, my tire looked like it started to like, pop off when I was on the road. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I drove like, from Lewisburg to Osawatomie just to get to, uh, like, a, you know, someplace to, like, change it. But, yeah. <laughs> I was surprised I even made it. But I have my car, if I lock it, they can't tow it. And so they have to get something to pick it up and put it on the tow. And it costs two hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> to get a new key. Um, how long should you drive on your spare? Um, it said like under two days. You want to take your car in like as soon as possible to get it fixed. You don't want to drive on a donut for too long. Oh, yeah, don't drive too far. Either. Yeah. Like, go go too far too fast, and we'll go no faster than forty miles. <laughs> Any other tips for us while we're out? In the middle of the night on the road? No, don't, don't let strangers help you. All the sketchy people in the world. I mean, personally, I wouldn't, but. <laughs> yes, um, I edited a true fiction book, and it was about a serial killer and his wife, and that's how they got their victims. They said they would come across people who were strengthened, and then they would help them, and then they would take them home to, and chop them up in the bathroom. 
Have your cell phone, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Brianna. Mm-hmm.